There are thousands of Quest 2 owners out there that use power banks with their headsets because two hours gameplay just isn't long enough. The big questions this raise over and over again though are how safe is it to use a power bank with my headset and will it damage my headset? And if I want to buy one, which one do I buy? So let's take a look. This is the official line from Meta and in a nutshell, it just says use the official chargers with your headset. And of course, Meta want you to buy their own elite powered head strap and not buy a third party power bank. The official Meta Elite powered head strap has a built in battery at the back of the head strap that plugs into the headset, which increases battery life. But surely this is just a glorified power bank anyway. Before we move on to my own experiences with power banks, if you are in any doubt whatsoever about using power banks, then the safest thing for you to do is simply not use them. But if you're like me and you didn't read what Meta said in the instructions in the first place, then carry on watching. Power banks are part of my everyday life for cameras, phones, small lights and the Quest 2 and I've never had any issues at all. I started with this 10,000 mAh one which gives you a total of approximately 8 hours gameplay. I know who in their right mind would want to play for 8 hours and of course most of you wouldn't but what 8 hours gameplay does give you an 8 hours battery life it means that you can play easily for 4-5 to five hours and you won't have to worry about your battery running out. And if there's 2 or 3 of you playing 4-5 to five hours can go by pretty quickly if you're swapping the headset among yourselves. Dependent on the head strap you use you can attach the power bank to the side of the head strap or to the back with velcro straps or you can use a longer cable and put it in your pocket so then there's no extra weight added to your headset. If you are going to do it with the longer cable then don't leave it in your pocket for extended periods because you don't want it to overheat and we want to keep it as cool as possible. I have a 64 and a 256 gigabyte headset and I've used a power bank on the 64 gigabyte headset for over a year and on the 256 gigabyte headset for 10 months. And this is certainly every week and quite often every day. So the question is, have I damaged my battery? Well, I tested them both recently with no additional power bank attached, and I can still get around about two hours of gameplay on both headsets. So it does appear that my original battery is performing as it did when I first bought it. I'm always looking for more convenient power bank solutions, and I now have some of these capsule power banks, which are smaller capacity, but also so much more convenient as they plug in with no wires and they're really lightweight. So the other question that comes up is how do you choose a power bank because there are so many out there. There are a few pointers that I can offer here and also there's an alternative to the official powered elite strap which I'll share with you at the end. As far as possible always use a branded power bank, preferably a reputable brand like Anker. Go for a compact size and you don't really need to go beyond 10,000 mAh. Even these smaller Anker power banks give you a few hours extra gameplay. And if you notice any splits or swelling in the power bank, stop using them straight away. In terms of spec, you can really go down a rabbit hole with this. I've read that you should go for a 2.4 amp power bank, but then I've also read that the Quest 2 limits the power input to 1.38 amps. So it doesn't matter what ampage you go for, it's limited by the headset anyway. If this is true, then this does give you a lot more confidence about using a third party power bank with your headset because you know that there are some safety cutouts in place built into the headset itself. In my own personal experience, I'd say go for a power bank with 2.4 amps or above because this means you have a greater chance of being able to carry on playing and charging your headset at the same time. And of course there will be a lot of you watching that are cleverer than me and a lot more technical than me and hopefully you'll be able to give a more succinct and more technical answer as to what to choose in the comments below. All that said I have a mixture of different power banks with different amperages and different milliamp hours and a lot of different brands even though I do say stick with something like Anker and I haven't had any issues with any of them. Just do lots of research and make an informed decision, and if in any doubt, then just don't use it. You may want to consider a head strap with a built-in power bank, and I've recently been using this one from AMVR. It gives you more than four hours extra gameplay from a single charge. It's super comfortable, and if you want to find out more about it, you want to watch this video next. I've left a link to all the power banks I've mentioned in the description below. My name's Rich, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.